they have a similar idea on this heroic draft. They have this enchantress to pressure towers. We have this DK to amplify amplify that. Mm -hmm. Very well rounded. Have strength carry, difficult to kill. But at this time, they have a carry that farms faster. Mm -hmm. We know that at 12 minutes, he goes in with Echo Saber, Mask of Madness, level 12, to hit a tower, to fight. So it's easier to get death bold against heroic this time. Mm, yes. But now they definitely got more potential if the game goes late with the Lina. Uh, that's Especially if fair. they somehow win the lane. I just don't, I, I don't know. I think of Dota sometimes very one dimensionally. And it is a, an issue that I have. I'm trying to curb it. But I look at this team like your Sven, Ruby, DK, whoever it is, they can jump anyone on this team. And they're happy. Meanwhile, for her, like for Midas Club, it's like, oh, do I really want to start a fight on a Timber Saw? Do I really want to fight start a fight on a DK? Like those are two heroes that I feel like I need to dodge and have vision of them. Heroic does not have that weakness at all. The plan here is to be able to kill this Timber Saw if you jump him. That's why you have this Wind Ranger with uh -huh. that will build a lot of uh, damage. The Lina as well. So. If you find a DK or if you find a Timber, you need to be able to kill them. And you have a yeah. lot of damage on these two heroes. And That's you have true. Laguna, Taki, so... Yeah, you need you need to be ready to fight before they get beefy, before they get stronger. Yeah, yeah these are not do-nothing heroes, thankfully, on Midas Club. They, uh, they do have damage. They even got a little bit of lockdown. I'm um, expecting to see a 202 build from the Luna. We know that Kostopoli is, is not shy to maxing out some of these magic damage spells uh, versus the Vilama on the Timber Saw. He did it on Gyrocopter. He'll do it again on the Luna. I could actually see the uh, the faded double sampler on the Luna. It's a very rare build, but the 2 2 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he can go like two points, but it, it's different now from the Gyro. With the Gyro, you can just ulti and see if the fight is good for you to join. With the Luna, if you're putting four points on Lucent beam, beam, it doesn't mean that you can't fight with the Eclipse. Sure. Cause you get too exposed and you can yeah. die. Really put your body on the line with that, yeah. Yeah. You have to have like heals or saves, and unfortunately those are those are over on the heroic side. <laughs> the enchantress heal, even with the uh the lift back on shard from Rubik. This is a girls team and techies. That's true. I I was thinking about that, the the women in Dota too. I didn't know what uh, pause five. They would have needed to snipe the enchantress, I think. But they got very close. <laughs> yeah. The battle begins. So, two for two. Thanks, now. If two split on the runes here. Even game. Goblins and girls. That's an even better way to describe it, actually. <laughs> Goblins and girls? <laughs> Who said it? You're just, just, a, just a no, 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 no. A, a, a very good chatter gave that to us. Uh, looks like they are gonna try to steal this first range creep from Divine Llama and Schofield. So they're gonna let the wave push into the tower of the Luna. In fact, with the blocking. So she did end up getting her losing beam first. This is gonna be a little bit hard to see us. And now with the fade bolt minus damage, even harder. He missed one. Oh, that was really close. I think without the uh, fade bolt minus damage, he would have had it. But overall, only missed one. Yeah, uh, that was still well done, probably. I think he handled that well. So let's see what these five techies can do here. It's hard, but it's versus a, a timber saw. And I even say the matchup into the techies isn't so bad. Yeah, Luna is very good against the timber on the lane. So. Should rather have like a CM so they have more key potential on the chamber. That's true. Let's see what they can do with the techies. I think you like you right click down a Rubik pretty well on the techies. So like I don't you kinda like both matchups. I think the game is what's the worst part of it. Ooh, drop back. A lot of damage actually taken from the creeps here, but Hiko not able to finish it off. DK is getting worked here in the mid lane, eh? Uh, he's taking <laughs> some damage. Yeah, Lina DK. For DR and his Lena. This is a node story. Mm hmm. This is the anime. Anime matchup. 
You know, we have an anime skin for, for Davi and the Dragon Knights and uh, the Marana, but we don't have one for the Lena, right? Not yet. Not true. Could always happen. But then, uh, yo, she is owning this lane. Holy 40R, my man. Using the aggro as well. Oh! Yeah. Oh, didn't get the deny there, but. He might get the solo. No? Mm -hmm. Too tanky. Going, going for the sampler. I like it. We've once again distracted our. <laughs> I love watching the mid lane, guys. I'll be honest. This is where I want to be. They do end up killing the Rubik down bottom. So, first blood for Midas Club. They're still very low, and Divine Llama is not hurt just yet. Yeah, they need to be healthy when the Rubik comes, comes, but they don't have much resources at the moment. The careers are coming close, so let's see if they have more. And the wave is pushed up enough. Divine Llama has been playing the aggro really well. Make sure that his team is locked in for the uh, Lotus. He's being able to be farm about the timber. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. bomb just created a two range to buy. Very unfortunate. Okay, so the Vailama is kind of happy. Oh, Sven goes down. Ah, dragged back. That's uh, I didn't think that this lane would be that good, but now that they've hit level three, this is another really big timing for the Marcy, and it only gets better. KJ is not actually able to dispel the uh. Uh, the effect of that tag They're team, not, not even tag team, sidekick uh, on the Marcy anymore. They're just landing the spells, power shots. Mm -hmm. It's hard for K1 because he gets right click Ooh. a lot in his lane. Dragging him back again. So the, the powerful part about this is that it's right into a power shot. So he's really slowed up. Thankfully, uh, the Wild Wing Ripper will spin. K1 out of this one, but they're not done yet. They're actually still staying on top of KJ. A lot of heal, yes, but a lot of damage from FCR. He loses the damage amp thanks to the kill on the Marcy, but still ends up getting one kill for himself. Still a lot of damage from the Wild Wing. Holy moly. Yeah, I've seen some FCR Wind Ranger games where he just carried the game. He got out of control. And you, you don't feed kills to his Wind Ranger. Uh. Oh, almost going for it again. That was a long jump. <laughs> Man, has the psychic up is deciding that it is not worth giving it to FCR to heal. That's crazy. Double bracers on the Wind Ranger, huh? Interesting. Ah, hey, Universal Heroes getting Universal. A lot of extra damage there. The double is probably the interesting part, actually. It feels like you probably only need to commit to one and then go in for like your your Atos if you want that extra health. Yeah, but Ooh, the, the, Schofield. So it loses the ward. This is bye bye. gets the D ward. Uh, not if a lot they of mana on Weege, actually. Going. No, they don't. They don't have much mana on the, the techies. Hey, he's actually going to bring a board down. 40 R gets to kill on analog mid lane is actually crazy. It looks like it was with the help of Hiko. Yeah, it was a solo. Let me check. It was. It was a Laguna kill. Mm. And now, yo, a huge fortification in the mid lane here. Towards the tower. Looks like they are going to go bottom on Kasabali, though. He's getting zoned out of the tower. The creeps coming in from KJ really helping out. Plus the heal. We're just not able to take down Schofield. So they'll do their own little bit of uh, maneuvering. They won't. Oh, no, they do have a card on the tower. Yeah, they can't. They can't pressure. At least for now, unless oh, Luna no. decides that it's not a good idea co coming bottom. Dude, it is kills all over. They're just working them hard on Midas Club now. They still have yet to deal with this cart. KJ and Divine Llama have done a fantastic job of keeping this one in range. And once again, they get a creep wave in. They, you're not careful. You might lose the tower here. Yeah. At least Luna is farming a lot here. Mm, that's true. She's not losing the lane and the tower. Yeah. Oh, oh KJ. Oh, a little bit more damage. <laughs> okay. Sabley takes the kill. The man knows the fogs. 
Mm-hmm. Blizzard we're gonna get handed over to Bailama. <laughs> Much better lane than last time. Man, it was a bit disastrous for him. This time it's only slightly disastrous for him and his team, as once again Midas Club have a dominant lane victory. They certainly have the numbers on everybody for Heroic. They must have done some big studying for how they like to play the lanes because uh, this doesn't happen two times in a row without some prep. Mm, two ve a very good ward, I think, he spotted the smoke usage on Heroic. Mm. Oh, yeah. And it's a deep one, too. Yeah. Very yeah. well done. See the 4 dr is playing safe. Let's see if FCR. Yeah. He's playing, like, yeah, completely off of it. Yeah, he Thankfully, was like to break it. Uh, they're just gonna have to walk it back. Bottom tower is under they can kill the DK again. And the rune is. Oh, rune goes top. It's a haste rune. Laguna will take down KJ. Looking at analog. He's going to back up, but they did bring in Divai Lama. They see him, and they're going to instantly run back because the Acorn is bouncing around, and 4DR could be in danger. It's a rip through from the Timber, and Analog gets the Breathe Fire to collect that last kill. Now, Eco doesn't want to let anything to go for free, but Divai Lama, this is not the same Timber you had in last game. FCR trying to focus down, but you're playing in the trees, and the left is oh stopped the my blast God. off. Another rip through with the Chakram. Divai Lama, a double kill. Give him another, maybe. Pause it on him. That is actually his own team, but still. You can throw games if you play like this. Oh my god. That, that lane lead let, is completely toast. Let me think of a way that I can translate it to you guys. What KJ just said. <laughs> um, he's asking Midas guys to get an investor. Because they're crashing a lot. I see. Not sure if it's like a I PC see, related see. thing. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but he said in a different way. I'm sure in a way that is only loving and respecting. Yeah, of course. <laughs> With intimacy. Yes, yes, yes. Because they are friends. KJ and FCR are old friends. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. They together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of keyed stars all over this game, <laughs> on both sides. But that so, does, again, like, completely ruins the, the laning advantage that they had. Divine Llama is having the game of his life now. He, much yeah. different from last time. This Timber ended up putting in some big work in last game. He just needed a lot of time to catch up. Now, with this sort of advantage, I mean, we're going to see a much earlier Blink, much earlier uh, Eternal Shroud. So we're gonna be pumping damage out over here. Is that he has Kaya coming on the courier already? He's mm. four and zero. Got three kills on the last fight. Dyer's middle tower is under so he is very strong. Has to just be careful to not die. I don't. It's hard to kill him now. He's actually got levels. Like this is something we didn't see before. Okay, he. Is running around the trees to hide his ward. Very well done. Uh oh. Oh, FH3. he ended up on the other side of the trees. So that is still a very lone range jump. That uh, taser will not protect him from everything. Oh, man, this is dodge <laughs> out one, and he's out of there. Well done, techies. Yeah, they are not bringing numbers here to kill this chamber. They are just farming for now. Or they are going for the magic build. It's not going Gleipnir. Uh, uh oh. Power shot stolen. This is a big one. Uh, four points. Right, it's uh, one of the best spells to steal, no matter what. It's a huge long range nuke. Long range nuke. The slow that you get from it as well. Very easy to connect with when you're a Rubik. He wants trying to recover. He died to time stop. Now he's on the triangle. 
That opens the map for Midas to just do the top tower, but... Was, was that all power shot damage? Is that just like like 500 <laughs> just from the power shot? That's craziest so. though. Because uh, now he's he's got to watch out like where he's farming with the Rubik around. Because you can steal creeps from a mile away. He's just playing with his team now. I think you gotta get a... You gotta get this Windrunner off the ground. Gotta get a, a power shot on somebody here to get yourself a kill. I don't know if this is the one. They do use the LSA connecting in with the Focus Fire and the Lagooner. They get the kill. 40 will be supercharged for a little bit, but uh, well done. That's a, a big kill. Somehow, if they are able to keep killing the Timber Song, they'll keep themselves in this game. Yeah, they, they had to rotate a lot of heroes to do that. Mm -hmm. That's buying time for this vent to recover. He's doing a good job. He farmed a lot oh. on the ancients. He just goes down. Yeah. Easy no, I mean, kill. This, Sven is going to be doing a lot in these fights. He gets everything that he wants. He'll be all the damage that they have on Midas mode. Plus, he'll actually be able to take some hits. I don't think I could say as much. Oh. Okay, he won't come. I was wondering okay. if he was going to try to uh, start something on the Luna, but he backs off wisely. Doesn't have OT. Yeah. He just wanted to say hi to his friend. <laughs> oh, they're actually doing well on the tower damage up here, but as you said, they, they have to bring so many people to do this. If two heroes are sitting behind Alina, your supports aren't getting farmed. Meanwhile, like Mini Enchantress is one of the best farming supports. Yeah, KJ is doing a, a good job at farming and not taking space out of his team. Mm, yeah. That's the hard part sometimes. Anytime you can take aggressive camps as a support, even if you're only getting like two or three of them before you die, that is farm that like the enemy carry offlane or whoever is not able to farm themselves. Second game that Miles is trying to force Heroic to come and defend this bottom tower. They're just bringing some numbers to see if Heroic buys it. I think that's just to open the top tower for them to take. So Heroic is just putting some supports in there. His van goes there, farms one wave, then comes back to the triangle. Mm, it's a little bit of a different build from the Timber Saw this game. Do you think this is because he actually has a game this time, or is there something that he's reacting to that he thinks just the blink isn't needed? This is the standard timber build if you're having a good game. Mm, the okay. hero was stronger. As soon as Whisper oh. joined OG, <laughs> I see. he was destroying games with his items. Mm. I see, so maybe this is just, uh, he actually has the net worth to get the Kaya before the blink. That's, that's yeah. the only thing that's happening, okay. With this chill, he's free to do whatever he wants. If you, he feels like he needs magic resistance, which is the case, you can go shrouds. If you feel like you it's a free shroud, game, right? you just sky a sunge. This shroud is still like I, I know that the timber nerfs were like something, but the eternal shroud still being like kind of the finishing out the square that the timber needs. The Sierra is still very good. So they are bringing, bringing Yasha on the DK, they have the dagger. I wonder who is making the first step. Hmm. I imagine it's going to have to be the DK at some point, but maybe they'll just timber chain in on the, uh, and like have the, the timber start everything. He blinks timber chain, hopefully they get enough. We'll probably have right now. Manta coming on the courier. They will be able mm. to pressure tower a lot easier. They have a very good ward on this van. There's also something that they were missing last game, but oh, they're going to be missing a techies, I believe. Gustavale trying to help him out. Uh, Oops. Uh, misclick? I don't think so. Huh. Thought that were a lot more heroes coming. I suppose so. But, uh, oh, yeah, no. DK. 
the enemy triangle uh. it was just farming there uncontested uh, level 2 ulti he got the splash damage now KJ is pushing in with his creeps. Bot side is rough. You don't see anybody on Radiant showing on a wave. Wayne, uh, weeb. It's not because they're like hunting. It's just they don't feel safe. Look at this ward. Very, very good. Also, this uh, this Manta from Luna is going to finish off something that they didn't really have last game. They didn't have any way to push towers without their heroes physically being at the wave. This Manta will actually really help them cut and do a little bit better with their tower defense, I think. Yeah, they can just split the map. Mm -hmm. Make Roy constantly having to fix the waves. So Luna can just shove bottom, TP top, and go for a play. They're probably waiting the Eclipse. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Just mm. to go top or go for a smoke play. Because Lina uh, is ready. Lina has the agonims. Oh! She went quick ags. And she is vulnerable, but wow. Dyer's middle tower. Radiant's top tower. Uh, why are we keeping here? Tower's gone. Yeah, he has Eclipse and the agonims. That was the timing. Problem is this ward saying everything. Oh. By Lama, gonna get linked on up, dragged back, and this is FCR. This is where he shines. Instant damage onto the timber. Now again, they lost the tower. They TP'd a few years up to do this, but hey. But they're not committing to the tower. Right? I think only Costabile is gonna stay there with illusions. But there, there are two good wards on heroic. If they find out Costabile is alone there, they can try to do something. Doesn't seem like to be the case. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Hmm. Radiance bomb. Alright, chase him down. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. goodness! He's gonna get hit. Wait for is it. He? Wait for no, it. Okay. It oh. went back to the base. Okay, yeah, yeah. What? Okay. Ayo? Hey, oh, this is a vibe. Sven has BKB. Can't they contest this? Oh, they certainly can, but Sven ain't coming. You can TP to the outpost. Doesn't feel like they want to. I don't think they know. There was a gentry creep around. I'm pretty sure they knew. Huh? Huh? They get the kills? They're going bottom on the Sven. Plus they can just go, oh my lord. Kill one here, force of the BKB out from K1. He's taking a lot of damage. They didn't think that TP would last so long, but I don't think they were gonna kill him anyways. That is BKB ulti out of there, but he did get a lot of damage on that bot tower. Yeah, this is a nine seconds BKB just to escape. What is Midas doing with this? Dyer are scanning. Hmm. Oh. They're keeping it even. Very good for them, but they are about to lose their Tormentor if they don't do something up top side. That could be the, the faded switch. We've seen teams that, like, they're both so good at this timing that they will just, like, both go to the other side and take the enemy's Tormentor. But we already had the bombs dropped, actually, thanks to the Rubik. So this is going to not last very long at all. I think it spawns and instantly dies. Yeah, okay. Yeah, almost. The divide got it. Oh, analog and danger. There's not a whole lot of healthy people right now on the dire side, so he's just gonna get lagooned once more on the DK. Everybody else has to run away. They'll only pick up one. Yeah, a DK kill is huge. I'm not gonna downplay that, but you did lose your Tormentor. It's kinda rough. Yeah, and he went to the timber. That is very good on the hero. He deals a lot of AoE damage now, he even damages towers. But yeah, it was costly. Mm -hmm. I feel like Midas right should now. be getting more out of this Aegis. It's 2k for Heroic for some reason. I, I think they've had the net worth lead for a while. Ooh, KJ. He surely... Yeah, okay. With yeah, help of Dwight Lama, to kill there. What's, what is happening? So is this supposed to be some sort of like farm 
I mean, they just might discover like, look, if we get items, we win game. Is that true? If you're out farming the enemy, yeah, but you're not. the advantage was 2k, now it's 3k. And for yeah. Heroic. This is a... Uh... They, they have to know this as well. Like, there's been a Sven that's been damn near, like, contesting the Luna farm down bot side. So, like, they surely know that they are not winning the, the farm area on this map. You might think Lena is bigger than she is. But even then... <laughs> they have BKB on Luna now in two minutes left on the Aegis. This gotta be go time. At least for... You choose smoke, kill someone, then you go to the tower close to the fight. What is uh? So we're almost a BKB on Marcy. I, I say almost. She really has had a hard time farming. Pico, they have not gotten a lot of a good stuff done on the map. Jump in, finds the Rubik, but he's invisible and they do not have any vision. I almost feel right, bad. Right, Pico. No sentries, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure a BKB is coming soon. Radiance top tower is under attack. Huh. Soon, but you need a lot of. Gotta spend some golden farm. sentries as well. Here <laughs> and there. Go oh, KJ. Yes, TP. Radiant are scanning. Oh, top side, you mean? Yeah. You're oh, but on Sven. Laguna will jump back in on FCR. This is a BKB, and he's actually just turning yeah. around. Uses the Dragon Slave. FCR wants to keep going, but... Oh. Same place. Same place. Why? Okay, FCR just dies, by the way. And now they're jumping back in on 40R. The Lama is unkillable. They'll use the Eclipse, but now it's stolen out by the Rubik. The Lama still should die here, but the blast off isn't enough to keep him locked in. One more jump away. Kostabale picks up the kill. Schofield has an Eclipse. Do not walk near that guy. <laughs> he doesn't want the smoke. Mm -mm. But yeah, man, two very good kills for Heroic. That, that, uh -huh. that, that's basically what, what I was saying. What is Midas doing with these Aegis? Mm -hmm. They're not pushing waves into Heroic Towers. Oh no. They're not <laughs> out farming the enemy. They're losing towers and fights. Oh. Yeah, no, they're they're losing a lot on the map right now. Uh I don't I don't know. I feel like your draft had to be ahead. Your draft is now significantly behind. And this isn't gonna get better for you. If you got that Sven Q, okay. I could say that it's it's okay for them to just trade farm here and there, but they tried two times to kill this van, failed both attempts. I think they should bring more numbers if they are really trying to commit on this van mm. kill because K1 is just doing the same. He goes bottom, he pushes the wave, he farms the jungle, he comes back. Yeah. Look at Schofield. He wants to solo someone. <laughs> uh, oh no. Blinken dragging back into the Eclipse. Stun was actually under a creep. Couldn't get close <laughs> enough to FCR. <laughs> he stunned the creep. And they, and they tips him. Like, Good job, buddy. Yeah, misclicks happen sometimes. FC, I tell you what, everybody on this Midas Club item just got a bunch of items added to the wish list that they need. Somehow FCR oh no. needs BKB and Ags, I believe, to somehow pump in this one. Uh, Lena needs a BKB for sure, maybe even like a Hurricane Pike, something to... May maybe an E-Blade, I don't know. I feel like your magic damage build just isn't going to work as much this time around. She kind of has to wait Luna. for the BKBs to get lower on duration. Mm -hmm. Or to just instantly blow, blow people. Yeah. When they have to be aggressive on Midas Club, they're not doing a great job as they did on the first game. No, 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 no. I think this game, your, your draft is just so much more fragile. And it has been getting bounced around. It is cracking, it is not holding, and uh, I think in one more fight, you might just break.
Look at Scofield. They, they keep pushing this bottom wave. And Midas is not uh, finding a good way to oh stop no. it. I almost feel bad. I almost feel bad. I think they really need to smoke towards their bottom lane. <laughs> okay. I have fortification. Oh, it was for up here. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was for the midways. Like, chill, that was the most chill. childish board I've ever seen. That would be a BM board uh. play. Oh, doesn't kill the wave actually. Doesn't kill any creep. Dyer's top tower is under attack. First on it. Look, K1 is doing the same. Oh, what is he? Time and time again. He comes bottom, he farms the wave, he comes back. Uncontested. Yeah. Where's this basher on Marcy? Twice, now? but they needed like five heroes. Or at least the Luna. Scanning. Almost butterfly. No, now butterfly completed, which means Sven will be a little bit unprepared for this Luna. Uh, yeah, he's going Satanic next. I do think, though, for K1, the game is a little bit simple as just like kill everybody else. Luna isn't pumping that much damage just yet, so your your team is still reliant on you killing Lena or maybe killing the. The Windrunner, just anybody else. Radiant's middle tower is under Kostable attack. missed the wave. He used the Twin Gate too, too late. Oh. The illusions are gonna... Uh, K1 teeping into this one, but look at the damage from Divine Lava. Coming on in by himself, they just murder Hiko here. It's BKB's out, FCR trying to take down the Sven, still a little bit more damage. The last focus on the power shot, he'll take him down. This was a buyback on Hiko as well. Now Lena trying to stay in the fight because FCR is well too low. Maybe he gets away from this one. A little bit more time, but a blink forward there it is. LSA is off the mark. And now Hiko, this could be a dieback for the Marcy. Stolen rebound, jumps on forward, and that's going to be three gone, plus the dieback of Marcy only losing the Sven. I mean, good kill to start off, but the rest of the team is still an issue for you. Yeah, it took so much for them to get the Sven kill. Had to commit the Wind Ranger in there. It's it's hard for them this time because they rely on these stackies to find a good blast off or mm -hmm. the Morrissey to find a good opening. They don't have the lasso, the blink toss. Also, Lucky Luna, for them, Roche is not alive yet. That's true. This Luna just isn't pushing any damage through. I, I feel. Like, FCR is getting the focus fire, they're trying to take down the Sven. His BKB, he feels damn near unkillable. You, you need so many items on this Midas Club team. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Yep. Looking for now, Sean over there. You need to just split push. Mm-hmm. Well, that is your, your oh. trying to fight. They TP Quite out of the before. Sven just before Roshan is about to spawn. He can get the Twin Gates. He can wait for the Rosh bottom. I think that's what they're doing. They're like, look, they're not taking Rosh up here. We don't have to take Rosh up here. So they can just go bottom. I think it's a really nice move here from Heroic. They are not in a rush. They, had, they got 11k. It's really on Midas Club. They gotta make something to come back. And two games in a row, I feel like the team fight has been lacking from both teams. They've been much more just like damage, damage, damage. Oh, stunned up. Plus oh, the, the shackle. shackle into the Laguna and the focus fire. K1, he's just very, very dead. And no buyback with Roshan spawning. They... Aren't they Jack Rosh? Don't they care? I don't care. Just go Rosh. Costable did a great job before going to the fight. He went for the rune. He found the illusion rune. He, he's been cutting the mid wave constantly. Mm. Yeah, focus fire up as well. I mean, this rush look. can definitely get taken down easy. Yeah, they will kill the Roche. That's for sure. I can't believe that Roche is yelling. There's a 10,000 net worth lead for Midas Club, and they have gotten both Roches. Holy moly. Yeah, I, well well done from them to play the map find. like this. Yeah, they just pushed the mid lane with the illusions. They found the perfect target on this mm -hmm. man. Shackles landing. 
So if we get to the point where we just have three carries on Midas Cloak, can they win this game? Can they win? Was the question? Yeah. Um, I think they can. I think they can. It's not easy. Oh, it's not easy. Uh, hopefully get the Agonist Scepter here for Windrunner, which very, very good. Uh, it's actually a really nice initiation tool for them that they're missing in this game. Hirak just needs to survive during BKBs on Midas mm. just to be able to turn back. They're trying to clear these creeps. They actually want to push mid now, but these creeps from AJ. Yeah, come on. Constantly this is in. your BKB fly Luna. You gotta do something now. Mm -hmm. Stolen Lucent Beam. Pretty long range, nice stun from the Rubik. Setting up. I don't so, think he can actually rip through somebody here. Maybe get a good start to the fights for them. Analog's gonna start pushing bottom side. They really want to take this tower, but they're clearing the creeps. The Vilamas, even pump faking as if he could. If Lina was here, they would be able to kill this tower. Oh, but they're smoking up on the backside. They're gonna take the tower, but at what cost? Fortification. Oh we just pausing. We need to think about it, guys. What Dival Lama is doing really makes Midas Club tame. Okay, what is the plan here? Because this chamber is baiting, clearly. Are they coming for from behind? What angle are they choosing to come? You gotta, drop you gotta know that Heroic's coming. around dangerous they're backing out entirely hours not gone yet we just gonna be the first one to show they want to kill him first he's the one who made them pause kill him now he'll drop on the tech he's now luna in danger has the ages but on the other side they are maybe losing their rubik here gotcha at the end lena has to get away from this one the lsa is not in time it's a huge sun in it'll connect but fcr he has the bkb gustavo that's gonna be his first life Focus Fire still connecting onto the Sven, but without the rest of your team around, FCR, he doesn't want to stay in this one. They'll get a stolen shackle from Rubik. Maybe they can get the kill. It's a huge stun once again. A triple from K1, and you lose everybody on Midas Club. Yeah, they just isolated the Lina. K1 just jumping the techies, then switching targets because Luna was with the Aegis. And Davai Lama just zoning heroes out of the team fight. Very well, very well done, Heroic. This is likely a kill. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, this is at least one side. Uh, yeah. They will have. OT on Sven and BKB in 20 seconds. So they the might top. fake back here. Oh, you think so? They don't have a smoke quite yet, but they can still farm. Oh, they want to just back. Oh, okay. <laughs> By the looks of it, KJ just yeah. said the word. I, mean, I, I kind of agree with you. You got the BKB and the God Strength. This isn't an impossible fight if you stay here. In the end, it's all on what KA wants to do. If he says I can still fight, I want to fight, they gotta go with him. Yep. And they'll just easily grab a tower. They could go for another one. I think at this point now, they could have gone bottom. They could have continued the push with these heroes dead. Now, with everybody back up, it's a little bit hard. In order for this Lena to work, you need to keep finding these important kills first. Mm -hmm. She's a very burst heavy so hero. With the Agonist Scepter, you're all in on burst. Yeah, that means you need to land a good shackle, you need to land a good strike away from the fog. Or at least a good blast off. Don't walk up that high ground. They're pinging the bottom wave. So they're just gonna cut the wave, they don't have to go back. 
Gonna start to actually push up towards bot side. A1. Very big. That was to connect first. So that was a pretty good barrier on him right now. They've almost worked it down. Looks like they finally pushed through the full barrier. Now you can start hitting the hero. <laughs> yeah, but look at DK. Oh my this goodness. is so annoying. Now the second one. They've taken the tower. Sable is showing pretty far up there. Gotta be careful. Let's go Sable is next item. Oh, it's gonna be Kanda. That makes sense. Yep. Very good damage item. I think any hero that can build Kanda should still build Kanda. Just like your Luna, your Phantom Lancer if you're, if you're playing that hero and you're bold enough. PA. Wait, did they... What is KJ buying? MKB? Okay. Based. Based. Makes sense. You kill the Wind Ranger. Yeah. You kill the Luna. Looks like they're it's making a move time. back towards bottom again. He's just got an army of creeps plus a few carts. They're just waltzing into the base. What are you going to do about this, Midas Club? No glyph. So oh, this that's a rough one to give away. Jumping on top of the Sven here. No Aegis, but no techies by anymore. And now SCR in danger. Has the focus fire on the timber, but how long can he stay here? The fight has exited the base. You can't stay here any longer. Yeah, where where is my Lena? Lena? Oh? She was there, but I think she came late. Oh no. They sell BKB. Turns around with the Satanic. She just took all of her health. Oh man. No BKB, this is no painful Satanic. painful to left. watch. I know. They're just playing with Midas. They're just going when Yuan has OT. They are just struggling them inside the base. And killing them slowly. Mm -hmm. Twenty thousand net worth lead right now for heroic, and uh, I'm not sure where the next step is. Forty R is going for an a Dagon, which very good versus the illusions of the DK. Also pretty good for your burst damage if you're going all in on that magic burst. Uh, but it does mean that Luna is still your frontliner, so she's got the butterfly. I think she's got the satanic as well. Uh, maybe you go Scotty on Luna, continue to just be somebody who can step in these fights. Not sure. Your damage is coming from Lena and Windrunner though. Like, awesome. you've got to fill in that gap, I think, if you're FCR. Your hero is the only one that can. You're not dealing a lot of damage on Ranger Ranger at this point. You're relying on your DB duration. Hmm. But they're just kiting you. Look at those Ripthers. I mean, he's just allowed to do this because there's no HP on these heroes. They've already used Hocus Fire. Dragging him back. Lifted up, actually, Castabile. K1 looks unscathed. Turns back onto the Luna. And a huge kill for them. And they will continue on through the base. And with no Luna, I don't know if you can defend this any longer. It's Fragility. Almost safe to call it. They might almost be. safe to call it. What stunned Castabile for so long? I think it was a stolen shackle. Oh my god. I think it was. Let me check the... Oh boy. Looking in, they do get the Laguna, but the silence and now the stolen Laguna! Turn on him, baby! Oh. Schofield with Schofield, the kill. Eco looks at a massacre of his mid laner. They'll call <laughs> GG. Heroic will take game number two, and much, at, much like Boom, they'll waltz themselves into the next round of the closed qualifiers here. Uh, they'll be playing each other. Looks like uh, not in the next series, but the series after. Infinity. Midas now plays Infinity on the lower.